Good morning, everyone. God bless Israel. God bless Israel. And we should be praying for the peace of Jerusalem. But I'll tell you something right now. I heard on public radio uh, about how they are uh, allowing the LGBTQ community to start families by using surrogate mothers. And I'll tell you that's really, really bad. Do I hate? LGBTQ people? No, I don't hate. Do I disagree? Yes. And uh, if I'm not careful, do I feel like I could be condemning? Yes. But I don't want to be. And uh, the Lord doesn't want us to be condemning nor hate anyone for whatever reason like that. Nor should we judge. And I'm sure that LGBTQ people are good people. They do great things. They have skills. They have talents. But that lifestyle shows that they need Jesus. That lifestyle shows that they are lost. Just like anyone else in this world who does not have Jesus. And um, let me tell you something. If you were watching this and you say, well, I'm a Christian. I've asked Jesus into my heart. And he loves me just the way I am. Yes, he loves you just the way you are. So much that he accepted you just the way you were when you came to him. But there has to be a change. You can't just stay like that. Otherwise, you are still in your sin. Jesus doesn't save us so we can continue sinning. He saves us so we can be free and victorious from sin. And we only have our victory and righteousness through Jesus. So, uh, let me do right there. Now, the Jesus I believe in, you know, came from the God that, the is, that, that Israel believes in. And don't shut me off from this. Because Israel, you all know better. You have the Torah. You have the law. You know what God says about homosexuality. You know what is said. And this is wrong. You all do need to repent. And you do need to know that the Messiah has come. The Messiah is Yeshua. And he loves you guys too much. Even though you may not believe in him, he believes in you. He loves you. He came to the people of Israel, but the people of Israel rejected him as Messiah. The thing is, he's coming soon, guys. Everyone needs to be ready. In Israel, you need to stop legalizing these, these laws that go against the word of God and the God that you know, the God of Israel. He's not for this. He doesn't like this. So please, wake up. I'm praying for you. The Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And I pray there will be peace. And I pray there will be prosperity. And I pray there, there will be success as you all have been successful there. But you must know that the Messiah has come. It is through Yeshua. Life, salvation is through Yeshua. He came to fulfill the law. He's not pleased with this either. I don't believe he's pleased with this. He's coming back for a people without spot or wrinkle. The Father has sent him. God the Father, the God you, Israel, know. Please stop these laws. Please stop this. Go back to your Jewish roots. Because, uh... This this is not acceptable. This has not been acceptable in the law, in the book of the law. And it's not acceptable in the Bible and the New Testament either. I hope you all stop and realize what you're doing. Judgment will come upon people. Judgment going to come upon this world. Please. Wake up. But Israel, don't do this. Please don't be like America where where we're here and, and our government just accepts anything and and wants to kill our babies before birth and wants to do all these things and accept, you know, legalize gay marriage and all that and and oh I know I'm probably gonna get rammed for this. But the thing is, I don't care. He's coming soon, guys. All this stuff isn't worth it. If we really gave our nations to God and let him rule to what our 
the book of the law says to what the Bible says, things would be very different. Wake up. Your God loves you too much. He came to save you through Yeshua. Let him save you before it's too late. And I hope this reaches people. I hope this gets a hold of people. We need to be holy. A lot of people are going to get left behind if, if we just keep doing what we're doing and we don't heed to the Lord. We must be ready. Leaders around the world, quit making laws that are going against the word of God. Get on your knees, repent, and make Lord the Lord of your government. Please. Please.